Massachusetts. Uh, today we're going to be switching over for my rudder to the Snipe Air Industries Ultra Rudder. Uh, because I want to mount one of my Bixby's onto the rudder, and I'm afraid that the universal rudder that comes with the Shearwater 125, it's plastic, and, and, and I think uh, I'm a little concerned that it'll hold up to the Bixby. Now, it is made to hold the Bixby motor, but uh, I'm switching it out anyway. I, I bought the Ultra Rudder, which is aluminum. So to start off with, uh, this isn't the original way the rudder came. The, originally, it came with just this little bit on the end here. And one of the gripes against the shear water is that it won't turn well at all. And part of it is because this rudder, as you can see, if this was installed, is tiny and doesn't give much purchase in the water. So what I did is I went to uh, Kohl's and bought a cutting board for like nine bucks, brought it home, cut it off, and then attached it uh, where the Bixby motor would have been attached. Just cut it down to size, put it in there, and then uh, add it. And I'll tell you what, with the new addition, the thing will turn on a dime. Previously, it was just, it, it was really slow and sluggish, wouldn't turn well at all. I did another thing, too, is I, I did something called the John Papa. I think it's John Papa. Papa um, modifications on the rudder to get it to turn, to give it a, t a sharper radius. Um, so what I did is you add these uh, little cams to the rudder control, and it actually allows it to turn a lot tighter. All right. So, let's get started. First, we're going to remove the old rudder. So, I already hooked this up on a quick release. Take that off. This is where the cams come in handy. I can release... Come on. Uh, used to be able to. can release each of those. And now that rudder is free to come off. Let's take off the... Cotter pin off the bottom, out goes the old runner, right? So this is what uh, what it comes with. This is the addition that I put on. Um, I'm going to save this because there'll be times that I'm not going to be using the Bixby and I'm going to want the regular rudder. So now I'll have the option to either run just my modified rudder or to run the Bixby. Now, what we need to do, that just gets installed right there, like that. I'm gonna, oops. Because it's just easier to take on and off than the one that comes with it. Then, we just need to add All right, so that's a 330 seconds Allen wrench. Uh, next, we're going to add these cams. So what we need is a jeweler's screwdriver. We'll save this paracord, use it for something else somewhere down the line, but we don't need it for this. The only part we're after actually is this cam. So 
So I'm gonna loosen this a little bit so that I can get that off, but I don't wanna take it completely off because it's a pain in the ass to put back together. I'm just removing this hook. Separated just up plus the screw anyway. That's a bitch. So here's the final project, and I gotta be 100% honest with you. To go from the original, um, to get this set up for the first time, uh, did take a little bit of time. I had to stop and run out to the uh, store to get some screws to fit the motor on because uh, the ones that I had taken off my other uh, emplacement weren't thick enough, weren't, weren't long enough. So I had to get others. And then I also noticed, you probably can't see this, but there's a lot of play between the Bixby frame and this rudder. This rudder is much thinner than the original. So I put a couple of rubber gaskets in there, which I think will help keep it from vibrating and keep it firmer. Um, but now it's finally done and I've got it on there. Another thing that I noticed, and it's not on the water, so I'm not sure if this will change when I get on the water. When I let it down, it doesn't always stay in the position that, so this has to lock in order for this to not spring up when it goes in reverse. But if I let it down too softly, that doesn't necessarily lock into place. And so when it goes into reverse, it will allow the engine to come up, the motor to come up and the rudder to come up and so it won't back up. So I did a little customizing job I just added a little stretch of bungee cord and put a hook on the back so that if I know I'm not going to be, be deep and I'm not going to be shallow and I don't want the motor to come up, I'll hook this in. And that keeps it from springing up. Um, and if I unhook it, then if I hit a rock, that it will still spring up. So we'll see. Well, that about wraps it up. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Welcome to Massachusetts. Hope you enjoyed the adventure and we're still waiting for spring. We'll see you on the next one. God damn it.